So lastly, we need to do is actually put something in all of these functions. So the raw function is going to be the easiest. Um, we'll just get rid of all the smoothing we had uh, and then just plug it in like it originally had uh, and plug this execution pin in to the relative transform like that. And so that is done. Um, now, as for the basic smooth one, um, we can literally use what it just has right here. Um, so delete that. We need a get relative. No, what is it? Uh, delta world seconds. Oh, come on. Delta. Like so. Uh, and choose a number. I believe we had about one and a half works well. Um, and that works fine. Um, next getting more difficult is the um, the tripod steadicam and gimbal. Um, so we'll tackle the tripod first. Uh, plug that in there and we'll get rid of these. Oh, it's doing that. Am I delete key broken? No, why can't I delete those? Do I have to compile it again? Okay, apparently I have to compile it to delete. Um, so the way that works uh, is we are going to also get rid of the make transform one. Um, and so what we want to do is we're going to get the relative transform of the cube. Uh, get relative transform like that and break it. Uh, and so this is its current transform and we just want to keep that because a tripod, um, uh, let's make a transform then, uh, because a tripod does not move or the tripod we're making doesn't move. Um, so all we'll be using is the rotation of that and we're just going to smooth it out using uh, a lerp for the rotators. Lerp rotator, let's pull that out a bit like that and then plug that one into there. Um, now make sure you tick shortest path so it doesn't do this weird flicking thing. Um, and then last we need the delta world seconds again. Um, I'll drag that out and take times because we want to float by float and change that to um, a value, uh, 0.5 worked for me well. Um, and then we return that back into our make transform. Uh, so what this gets is it gets, so it's keeping the whatever transform it had when it very first started. Um, and then, oh, we also need to plug the cube into that target like that already. Um, and then what it's doing uh, is we're going to lerp between the, oh no, I've forgotten one more step, my bad. Um, so out of here, you want to break the rotator um, and then we just want to make the rotator again, like so. Um, and so, cause we want to get rid of the roll. So unless you're doing a Dutch angle, you don't need roll on the tripod. So uh, like that. So we're, we're keeping its current location and then we are smoothing out its uh, yaw and pitch. So up and down, left and right, and just keeping roll at flat much like you would with an actual tripod. Did I disconnect that from any of these? No, I did not. Alrighty, um, next we're going to tackle is the gimbal um, because that works a lot like a tripod. Actually, it works almost identically as a tripod. Uh, and because of that, we are going to steal the tripod. Uh, let's untick that one. Copy gimbal pile function before you can delete stuff in it. Annoying. Alrighty. So the uh, gimbals work very similar. Um, so a gimbal will smooth out your um, movements. Uh, it'll kill roll. Um, however, the difference is you can move a gimbal around. Um, and so the way we change this is simply breaking our link to that one and putting it with that one. So now whatever location it's having, it'll keep moving around. Um, and then as we twist the controller around, it'll slowly move um, back and forward. The um, other difference is I would recommend changing the this value to one and a half, like so. But otherwise, that uh, that's how the gimbal works. Uh, and the very last thing we want to do all the way over here uh, is the steady cam. Um, now the steady cam is a lot more complicated. Uh, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. Alrighty, so 
we need to get the cube, uh, set that as the target there, and also get its relative transform. Get rel, relative transform. Alrighty. Uh, so break the relative transform of the cube. So a steady cam will, um, especially if you have one of those arms to hold it up, that'll um, smooth out most of the location axes. Um, and then steady cams kill the roll um, and they will also kill unless you forcefully force it the um, the pitch the up and down as well so um uh, so that's what we're going to emulate here is you know just something that can move left and right um, so to do that uh, what we want to do is we first want to lerp between the uh, location which is rather easy to do uh, let's make a transform plug it into there uh, and so we want the delta world second delta world seconds uh, times a float uh, and for this value I found about five you don't want too much because it doesn't do too much in real life so you want you want something snappy um, and so I found that's a good uh, position uh, smoothness to use but again you can fiddle with it if you want um, for the rotators uh, if you break them out uh, like that break rotator break rotator um, then what we want to do I'll just break that can't we oh you can't actually do that on that oh well perfect uh, break rotator break rotator my bad um, and then we want to take the your seeing as that's the only one we're using and lerp between that so lerp and lerp uh, now i actually used a different value uh, for this one um, i think i used about one and a half again as we want it to be a lot more smoother uh, and then in this one we simply want to make it a rotator um, but plug it into the uh, break link into the yaw again and that is our new yaw like that and so that'll mimic um, the way a steady camera glide cam operates uh, if you have one of the arms to hold it blueprint itself is not a scene component where have I referenced a blueprint scene component Oh, there, right there, because, yeah, make sure you plug all of that in. Compile, same, yeah, perfect. Alrighty. Too easy. And so now, if we have a look, um, our event graph. So we've got this really clean event graph. So uh, over here is what sets our, sp so we hit the button that changes to the next smoothness method. Um, and then uh, depending on what that smoothness method is depends on which one of these functions it uh, does which again depending on how you've set all these up will depend on which one runs so um, again have a fiddle with the uh, values in these this is what I found best but um, if you find something you like better then uh, you can use that Alrighty, um, I forgot something just still recording it already. Um, so the other thing you may notice is if you try and play it, nothing happens uh, until you press the smoothness button. That's simply because we need to set the current smoothness default as raw as well. Alrighty, as you can see, um, we've got it working. Alrighty, so we're on raw. Um, next, I believe, is smooth. Yep, yeah, smooths everything. Uh, then tripod. So no matter where I move the thing, it's stuck in the middle. Um, then was gimbal mode. This illustrates a lot better in virtual reality. Uh, and then is the steady cam mode. And then back to original. Awesome.